Today, on Life at the Dead End, Monty sets his sights on trapping an animal with an insanely short season. The clock is his enemy. Scrounging around for food, shooting threatening things that move, keeping dry under a roof, oh yeah, that's living the life at the dead end. Today, my boy and I are going to put some fisher traps in the bush. There are different things that you need when you're fishing for trapper. I mean trapping for fisher. You need a trap. This is a Kona Bear 220. You need a bag full of bait that you kept from the summer. We'll talk more about bait later. And, and, and you need some bread? And yeah, maybe some bread. You don't need bread. And you need a cubby set. That's pretty much it. You need a lot of know-how. Fisher are opportunistic. What that means is they eat a lot of things that they just get their hands on, their little clawy hands. So in the summer I kept some bait. I'm not sure what it is, but I bet you it's pretty good. Probably smelly, maybe some some raw chicken or some fish. Here's some old minnows from fishing from summertime. That's good minnows. Yeah, good minnow smells good. Every good trapper has a secret. This is one of them. Can't tell you what that is. You can get this at the store if you're lucky. It smells like beaver. And that smells really good. If you're tough, you don't need a trap setter. I could probably do this with my eyes closed. Or even with a child on my back. I could probably set this. So, see this? a clamp, a wood clamp I guess. I got it for 50 cents at a garage sale because I knew it would help my fingers when I'm setting a trap. So now I got the trap set. I just put my clamp there now. See? Safety first kids. Yes it's stinky. Yeah and it looks like a pumpkin. Ow. It's a pumpkin of Chicken guts is what it is. There's some intricacies when you're setting these traps that are pretty important. Number one, or three, or seven, I can't remember how many tips I've given you. This is all gold, trapping gold. You want to put your trigger on the bottom and on the inside, if you don't know what a trigger is on a trap, you shouldn't be in the bush. Now, we just have to dress this up for presentation so that it looks as natural as possible to the animal. I'll show you what it's like to be a fisher coming to my my set. Here we go. Snap! So there's another type of set you can do where you find a log like that one that goes up and then you put a pail Cubby set up there. Uh, smells good. That's some duck feathers just uh, waving in the wind so that the fishers see that and come over and investigate. Now we have to wait. Well, it's now nighttime and I'm checking my traps. I have to pull them now because the season is over. And I came down to look at my one pail set. Empty bait. My trap is here, but it is it's set off. So somebody was at my trap. I don't know who. Could have been a bird. I don't see any hair on the trap. 
We'll go check the other one. There's another trap. And look, the trap is not in the cubby set. You have to follow the cable. Follow the cable. And uh, an empty trap. Again, an empty trap. This, these two traps were pretty close together. Only about 20 yards apart. Could have been the same animal that outsmarted me this time. I don't know, maybe it was a big mouse and he just snapped it off but didn't get caught. I don't know. I've got a couple more sets to check. I checked another one here. Unfortunately, nothing. I have a bad feeling about this. I only have one more left to check. And then it's, it's lights out for the trapping season for Fisher. That's living the life at the dead end. Yeah.